Ooh, and it now was, it might not be. It was be. probably the best edge guarding tool in the game. Ah, Let's be real. No. Against overrated. some recoveries, absolutely. Nah. Yes. Not when things like Tetra Karner in the game. Not when things like like Pika against back some, air in the against game. Against some, no. I think it was better than Pika back air in a lot of situations. The range know. on it is better. I, the, I don't know about the, the best it, one in the game. It has what? E either way, though, definitely a really good edge running tool that like was used to kill. It still puts their opponent in a really bad position to get back versus Palazena. So like, even though it won't kill like at all anymore, it still is a decent edge running tool. So right. actually, let's let's start talking about this matchup in theory. Yeah. So the matchup, Palu outranges Mario. Yes. But. I mean, like, the, Mario as a character, for the longest time, he sort of had this idea behind him that he's going to struggle to get in, but once he does, his combos are really consistent yeah. and really good damage. But the thing is, I was actually just... Uh, Jen was over in the corner playing Melee right before this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and he was playing Melee with a friend of mine who's a very good Melee player, and he told me, he's like, he has he is a Melee mind. As in, like, very neutral-based, very movement-based, and that really shows up in his ultimate play, you know? The fact that, like, look at the way he micro-spaces, the way he tries to, uh, I think that was probably a misinput. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that was, that was probably a misinput. Yeah, yeah I, I, I definitely agree that, like, Palu can kind of play with that type of mindset, and I think that's... She just plays Smash Brothers. Like, if you have a mind for that, you can play Palu at a high level, and that's kind of her whole thing. But yeah, well, Mario, similar to the last game in that, like, he will still grappler you. He will still, like, he's like a quick grappler with, with like, little range. The only difference between him and, like, a true grappler is that grapplers usually have giant hitboxes. He really doesn't. Wow, Other attack. than that, though, I also want to bring attention to the, like, because it was a little while ago, the, the, the kill he got. The Ezra that he got was really, really good. A lot of people, like, it's hard to challenge Mario up B from the top. It has a really big disjointed hitbox. But you don't, have to, you don't have to challenge it from the top if you go out there. If he's out of a jump and you go all the way out there and go hit him for it, he can't up B yet because he'll die. I like that approach. Oh, nice up air. Really good. Going for up air there. That's the sort of thing where up air, knowing the nerfs, up air was... I mean, neutral air probably would have killed too. Probably. He was... Like at 150 with max rage. Backthrow's not going to take it yet. He's still struggling to find this kill. A lot of things yeah. are on, on the table as, as far as kill options go right now, though. Obviously, that up smash. You know, back throw well, most of the stage. Yeah, but the thing is, like, most of his kill moves, like, a throw or a smash attack. Like, back there might not even do it. Oh, <laughs> as I say that, I am proven woefully wrong. <laughs> Immediately. I mean, actually, I do want to point out also there that that's something that a lot of people wouldn't realize, that he was going off for a lot of these kill moves. He was throwing out the grab, he was throwing out the up smash, but he wasn't showing the back air. It's like the sort of thing where... Speaking of back air. Yeah, really, really uh, but it's the sort of thing where, you know, you don't show the, the trump card, you know? You're holding what you actually want to kill your opponent yeah. with, what you actually think is your best bet. Right. You throw out all the other stuff. You throw out the up smash. You throw out the, the grab, you know? So you yeah. start them thinking about that. And then you that go, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conditioning from a that. distance. Mario's got enough. Like, there is a lot of characters in this game that people will like to comment on, like, when it's time for them to kill, they just spend that kill move over and over again until... Uh, it hits. However, that's just like, obviously, if you're Palutena and you're at 160 and she keeps throwing out back air, she's looking for back air. You know she's looking for back air. Mario, though, a couple more kill options are on the table with him. So, like, he can uh, he can afford to throw out two or three kill moves while he's actually looking for a fourth one. You know what I mean? I like that about the character. Ooh, nice up to it. I do like the, like the back air to forward to it, but I wonder if there was something more optimal. That was actually a really good up air. It's just a, it's a positioning one. Oh, <laughs> tries to edge cancel it. He gets cased first. Yeah, I do agree with you. He keeps going like at it's zero. Like, he'll go for option. back air F tilt, which is true. I mean, like you get your free twenty, but like you like Jen is a player where you notice his neutral is so good, so consistent that he. You can't just be nickel and diming him. You need to be making those like, yeah. big plays. It's, it's also a, a Palutena thing. She's not. You have to get more off your openings than she does. Otherwise, you lose. Was that for the buff? Huh? 
Was that from the buff? Oh, the up tilt? Uh, maybe. I know it got buffed, and that looked like it just barely killed. Yeah, okay, then I... It's very possible. It was never bad at killing. It's just like... It, like, why why go for that when you have back throw and all your good aerials and it's supposed to play? I mean, it's one purpose, and, you know, it is still a decent purpose, was at the ledge. You know, when your at opponent's the there, it lasts so long, it catches yeah. so effectively. I, I think now people are going to start using it a little more as, like, a anti-air. Like, if you think your opponent's going to gonna land some type of hitbox, it's very disjointed above her. She crouches down and puts the pole on top of her, so it's very easy to beat out things from the bottom with that. Ooh, off smash. I like that. Now, it's also, I just want to point out that Kevin, so far, two out of his three or, wait, two stocks. Both stocks he's taken has been from a back air at the ledge. Yeah. So I think that's sort of how he's, oh, sheesh. I was saying you should go for some uh, some bigger things before, and honestly, if that had worked, yeah. that definitely would have bring him back into thing. it. But, ooh, DI yeah, in. in. I yeah, don't that's think the that only that reason that the, the, the down the back there was allowed to kill there was because he DI'd in. And it's the sort of thing where, like, I understand why he DI'd in. You know, he's like, I don't want to wind up off stage. I don't want to get killed out there. But you should prepare for the down throw. Like, yeah. Another, no other throw is he going to be able to have to kill right. you. Fourth throw isn't going to kill you up the side. No. Even if you DI out. So it's more of like a like there were per oh, okay there were percents previously where you could uh like if you got grabbed by Palutena, you'd rather eat the down throw back air than a down throw up air. So I get why you why you go for the DI in in that case. Ever since the buff or the nerf though. There's no reason to be afraid when Paulo grabs you at the ledge at like eight. Just DI away. You have. I to. mean, you should still be afraid because you're in still just getting headshot by Paulo Tennis. <laughs> yeah. But like, you're not gonna get kill confirmed. I mean, that's what, like obviously that is way worse than anything else that could happen to you. <gasps> oh no. I think he's. Oh, he didn't go off. Okay. He's been going pretty aggressively with that charge, but he decides not to there. Maybe seeing he's at one stock and being like it's not. Oh, again? Now they're back here. Even Jen kind of like tilted his head a little bit, like, oh, that worked. I don't know. If I don't know whether that was DI, depending on because he had no rage.